And here I am hoping that this game won't prove to be our kryptonite. I have this. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. And welcome back to Ace of Vegas, my spinners and sharks. Ace here, and today what we're going to do is we are going to play ourselves a little bit of Crystal Planet. So Crystal Planet is... I have no idea what the joke is here. Is it a Steven Universe joke? Is it another space joke? I just made a Superman joke. I uh, wanted to go ahead and call it... Uh, <laughs> what joke did I make? It was uh, something about kryptonite. I, I just assumed that we got some kryptonite out here. Could also make a Sonic the Hedgehog joke, so I'm not really sure what the parody is. It's just a uh, game in space, which is interesting because, as you guys know, I like the space games. I've even got my own casino, Space of Vegas, in progress there. That'll be uh, ready to open in 2045 when I've probably gotten the imaginary uh, $500 million I'm going to need to open it slightly off strip. But enough about that now. Let's go ahead and set our bet. I'm feeling kind of feeling kind of froggy today, so we're going to go ahead and do... Uh, 2,250,000 chips through the machine. We'll do it our usual 100 times. So let's go ahead and get those 100 spins on the clock. And then on your mark, get set, ready, and go. <coughs> Alrighty then. So first things first, as always, let me go ahead and thank you guys for dropping by with uh, me and DJ on the old podcast this last Sunday. Oh, was that a dig bonus? Oh, it looks like it's going to be a good old-fashioned bonus game here. And we'll be getting some good stuff. Oh, is this a Buck Rogers kind of kind of spinoff for parody? I'm not sure if you guys remember Buck Rogers in the uh, 25th century, or if you're familiar with Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes did a parody of it called Duck Dodgers in the 40 in the 24th in uh, one half century, which I thought was uh, uproariously funny, honestly. Uh, but no, Buck Rogers kind of kind of the precursor to Star Wars and a lot of modern science uh, fiction, science fantasy, that sort of thing there. So if you like Star Wars, Star Trek, anything like that, you have Buck Rogers to thank for that. All right, but it looks like we're about uh, coming up on our 15th spin over here. We got ray guns, we got rockets and wilds everywhere, and apparently there's a dig bonus that we're hoping to get. I'm not sure what triggers that exactly, but we're going to find out precisely what triggers it, and we're going to get as many as we can. Yeah, they've got uh, Steven Universe names. We got Jasper, we got Amethyst. And we've got all sorts of stone names there, so that's a cool thing. All right, but yeah, anyway, I wanted to go ahead and thank you guys for coming to the podcast just this last Sunday here uh, with uh, me and DJ uh, when we were talking. We were talking some craps and we're talking some general money-saving tips in Vegas. So playing better, that sort of thing, uh, go, going at the right time of year. Uh, you guys can go ahead and check out that replay. I'll go ahead and put that in the upper right-hand corner here. Now today, while we're on the stream, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about MGM. I really haven't said my piece about the lawsuit. I kept me meaning to make uh, videos about this, but then other stuff came up. I went on a couple trips, and I've been editing the trip reports for those, the vlogs from the Minnesota trip, and the vlogs from my uh, Blackhawk trip, too. Oh, there's the dig bonus. Okay, so I guess if you get one of those on the, uh, on the reel, that's when it happens. But yeah, I never got a chance to talk my piece about this. So now I'm going to take that opportunity and I'm going to speak my piece regarding how I feel about MGM post-settlement. So I'm not sure if you guys remember, October 1st day that's going to live in infamy for quite some time. Uh, you know, that terrible person committed that terrible crime against all, the, all those people that just wanted to go to a country music festival. And he, he murdered a lot of people. And it was terrible. And a year, or within a year from there, there were a bunch of lawyers that uh, kind of got the victims and the victims' families together, and they wanted to force a lawsuit. Now, I initially thought that the lawsuit was for uh, was for the federal government, so that they would uh, pay out uh, terrorism benefits, so that uh, those those people could rebuild their lives after they were targeted by what was clear to me as a terrorist act. Personally, it was clear to me it was a terrorist act. It was meant to induce terror. First dictionary is concerned. That's a terrorist. That's a terrorist act right there. But you know the dictionary doesn't discern, doesn't determine that sort of thing. Okay, so it looks like for the dig bonus we get to uh, pick a planet here. I like Saturn. Green's my favorite color, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one. Let's see. What happens here. So we start digging. We find the crystals. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Richest person in the world. Go dig, boy. And 
everyone. Hal agrees. All right, so now we go ahead and pick these. Uh, dice roll goes... Let's, let's roll dice. Okay, dice is going 5, 6. Nice. Still, that's a free spin there. Um, we want to go a little bit lower, or do we want to go up? So evens. All right, evens say low. All right, so some credits. Okay, so we'll do evens go low, odds to go lateral. Let's go, let's go. All right, it's evens again. All right, we've got a crystal for more free spins. And here we go, evens or odds, evens or odds. All right, we're going odd. No, oh, he's got a laser. More free spins, nice, nice. So we got about 10 more moves to go. Let's go, let's go. So this will be one, two, three, four, and five, six on the dice. All right, and that is looking like a, okay, that's a four. Nice, nice, okay, cool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, let's go. That is, okay, that's a one. Let's go. Oh, all right. Another free spin, we got four more. Let's keep digging. Let's go. I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six. All right, that's a couple chips. So we're getting something out of this. And then we'll just go lateral. One, one, two's here, three, four's here, five, six is here. Oh, that's another six. That's six. All right, so we'll do evens here, odds here. That's a three. More coal. All right, let's go ahead and go. Let's go ahead and go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's that six. All right, fire away. That six. Let's go. Ah, uh, so. Oh, dang. I wish we would have gotten that four. It's cool, though. I don't know why the dog has a uh, dialogue here. Let's so get some free spins. Let's participate in these free spins now. Let's go. Let's go, guys. All right, but anyway, um, regarding the, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get these bonus spins going, but regarding the uh, the MGM lawsuit, the, the Mandalay Bay lawsuit, got to speak my piece about this. So you guys, I'm not sure if you guys remember my video that I did last year on the lawsuit, um, when we figured out that these lawyers kind of whipped everybody into a frenzy and decided to get ahead and sue MGM and the Mandalay Bay, right? Which I thought was... Weird. I do believe that the victims deserve their money. Absolutely. That was a horrific act and, you know, it takes some time and money to get, you know, get the type of help that gets you better after, you know, after that sort of thing, if you even get better from it. It's, it's a huge, it, that's a huge deal. That's a huge deal. Uh, surviving you know, the medical bills and the uh, therapy bills and all that, all that sort of stuff. You know, it, it's rough going through traumatic experience like that. 100% agree. I do believe that uh, they should be compensated for that. 100%. Uh, now, I didn't see how MGM had the liability, and I did talk to uh, one of my uh, one of my law school friends, one of my uh, lawyer friends, uh, she's a lawyer now, which is awesome. Uh, and she, she's still kind of kind of stuck with her initial initial thought with it that they didn't really have any liability. But what was really scummy was the fact that MGM turned around and countersued them all. I believe they lost this lawsuit to uh, get the victims all into one court under the guise that, oh, yes, this will be easier for everybody instead of just fighting each individual battle and not making, you know, not adding any additional stress for the victims and their representation, the victims of this terrible event, which I thought was pretty scummy. I did not like that. So ultimately, MGM lost that lawsuit. So... What they ended up doing was they settled for, I believe it was $800 million. And that divided by, I think there was a total, uh, you know, the victims and their families and all that. I think there was a total of, uh, 
2,400 or 2,500 plaintiffs in the whole case over here, including victims, uh, surviving uh, families, and so on and so forth. So the 800 million minus the uh, lawyers, I think they got something like 10 or 20 percent off the top. So even so, it's really more like 640 divided out by the. Uh, uh, although I've heard some figures that say that the lawyers got 40% off the top, which is insane. They have this huge team of lawyers that got involved with it. So the legal fees on that, which was pretty nuts. So even if you factor, I'll say 20%. I'll say 20% conservatively divided by, and I think I've heard some reports of up to 4,400 uh, victims and their families and all that. So I think the total that everybody gets basically after legal fees and the lawyer's commission or whatever you want to call it there. I can't remember. I, I know there's a word for it. It's uh, retainers and all that. It ultimately came out to, it'll probably come out to be about 140,000 per person, which you know, it, it'll cover some medical bills on the bright side. So that, that helps a bit. But it was just such a weird way to resolve the whole thing, uh, just seeing that. I really still don't think MGM had it. Now, MGM said a lot of scummy things, and this is a scummy thing that they did to try and sue ba or counter sue everyone that was coming after them. So shame on them for that. Shame on the lawyers for doing this. But I'm glad that the victim got something. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say my piece and say it was definitely a weird sort of lawsuit there. But... I'm glad that the victims got something for the pain that they went through. All right, guys, and uh, we just ended it on one and a half million with Hal over here. Let's go ahead and do some maths. Uh, I did, yeah. Looking at this, this is looking like a pretty rough game straight off over here. And of course, we picked a pretty rough subject. I believe we started at one billion six hundred thirty-three million nine hundred fifty-one thousand nine hundred nineteen chips. And we've just ended at 1,512,016,994 chips. So I'm going to go ahead and do the maths, see exactly how poorly we did, and we'll go ahead and uh, count up the booty. All right, folks, so it looks like Disco Dracula is dancing over here, and I don't know why he's dancing. I think it's because he knows he's going to make a sale, because we actually end up losing somewhere in the neighborhood of 121 million chips during this last game and my last little rant over here that I went on. And, you know, honestly, it's not looking that good playing through this game. It looks like we had a payback percentage of 45.8%. So Crystal Planet really is just kryptonite. Avoid it. Let's not play it. Let's find something else to do. Uh, but that's really about it for this one, guys. Uh, thanks again for joining us on the podcast this last Saturday. Uh, I think I already linked that one there. And thanks for listening to my thoughts about the MGM lawsuit. Concluding on that one there, I think this whole thing, this whole two-year experience here was a terrible thing um, from very start to very finish. I'm just glad that we've got some form of resolution for the victims and their families so that uh, they can uh, hopefully finally start moving forward from this horrendous experience and you know thoughts and prayers are definitely with them still if nothing else and hopefully these uh, you know these corporates uh, you know these corporate monsters and these scummy lawyers can sleep with can sleep at night you know with their with their conscience for what happened still don't fully understand why they didn't qualify for federal assistance from the terrorism fund and all that but you know again i'm not a politician i don't understand these sorts of things just my opinion just my two cents and just me being uh having my own opinion i don't censor my opinion don't censor your guys's opinion so that's what that is all right folks well next time we're going to go ahead and just do i think we're just going to do a casino tour next time uh, something a little bit lighter, a little more fun, and we'll go ahead and find something else to do for Saturday. I've got a video that's been sitting in my queue for ages that I really wanted to go ahead and release, so looking forward to that one Saturday. Until next time, though, my spinners and sharks, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you, as always, strong hands and happy spinning, you guys.